sorry about the last video. Didn't mean to make the camera shake so much. Hopefully I have it fixed. So I removed the water pump by a little bit of percussive maintenance. I put it back in using a torque wrench. The torque settings I used for the water pump bolts were 10 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, I used the E12 with a little bit of extension and a torque wrench. That's all. That's the only thing that's been missed that I'm not going to go over again because it's just torquing bolts down. Put the water pump back in. Make certain when you put the water pump in, you put the O-ring on uh, and you have a smooth mating surface. So now after putting the water pump on, what we'll want to do is we will want to put back on the timing belt cover. And yes, I know this timing belt does need to be replaced. I've already told the owner that, but well, we are here where we are doing what we are doing. That's what we are doing and nothing more. I made him aware. All right, so there's four of the E10 bolts that we'll be putting back. And these bolts, since they're similar to an M8, I'm only going to use probably 8 foot-pounds of torque or a hundred and uh, around 100 foot inch-pounds of uh, torque. That's just a guesstimate. I didn't have anything online that I found that was easily relatable that went yes or no. But that seems like the torque setting would be around because the size of the bolts. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and look them up and correct me in the comments. Because I am not perfect. Been a long time since I thought I was perfect. And a much shorter time since I've made a mistake. Many mistakes. Alright, so top and bottom. One top, one bottom. Hand screw them in. Then use inch pound torque wrench on them. These are the E10 size. So the smallest of the E torque. E12 torque. Now I need to find the right one. There it is. Like I said, about 10 foot pounds or 124 or 120 or right around tight for these. They are a cover holder, so make them snug. But don't snap them. I probably do not need the extension on this. Extensions aren't going to affect the torque settings. They've done studies. You're more likely to have problems with cheap torque wrenches. I don't say mine's an expensive one, but good old craftsman. Tighten that anymore because it should have popped by now. If it starts to feel like too much torque, don't force it, don't break a bolt. Shouldn't use extension on that. There we go. 
so those were the E10 Torx. Now it's going to be 10 millimeter bolts right here. One of mine is stripped, so I will not be putting it in. Those are the shorty, shorter versions of everything you've removed. So I'm going to put the one in that still is attached to housing. One that is not attached, I will likely zip tie out of the way. That's my extra bolts. 10 millimeter. Probably 10 foot pounds again. producer All right so 10 foot pounds 100 inch pounds right around there make sure it's tight you can reattach these clips if you want I'm going to because otherwise I will forget Make certain this is going to be out of the way of the belt path. It should be. So now we're going to put in the idler or the tensioner belt. Has a two 15 millimeters, 15 on the front. 15 on the front should be torqued down to around 30 foot pounds if I remember correctly. So I'm going to do that. That's torqued down. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get a torque wrench in the back, so we're just going to have to pretend that I know what I'm doing. Put this pulley in the back, line it up. Gear bolts lined up with the kind of the 15 degree below level. And then start you know, with the wrench. I actually got to use my bendy wrench. It's a ratcheting box wrench. It's they're pretty nice. That way I can get back there and. Hopefully not cuss too much. I'm gonna have to use a socket. Is it 16 or 15? Yeah, that's 15 now we're going to be putting on the tensioner pulley there's 15 millimeters in the back I'm going to use a bendy ratchet I like them because it enables, it enables me to get around the corner and tighten these up relatively well 
I'm going to be in the way of the camera though, so I'm sorry. When you're doing this, there is a power line that goes from your alternator. Make certain that that's not in the pathway of the belt or the pulley. Yeah, I can feel it underneath the cover. We're good. And also keep it out of the actual cover proper. Yeah. Keep it out of the cover when you're putting a cover on. these these are bigger bolts they're m15 so they're probably supposed to be around 30 or 40 foot pounds so pretty tight I don't know the exact torque spec I'm sure somebody will correct me I can't get a torque wrench back there Anyways, I'm going to take a break. I'll come back when that's attached.